First of all, it's just being professional. Well, so it's You're working. Courteous if somebody comes to you politely and asks you for identification. I will give you my identification. You give me your driver's license. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you my name if you'll tell me your name. You're the public servant here. I'm not going to play these games with you. You're, I just told you. Give games, me. Yo, know, you're the one you playing games. Here, let me tell you. You came in here and you're doing this to draw attention to yourself. I didn't draw attention to nothing. You came you're up to me. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to identify yourself. That's escalating the situation. You could have said, "Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Officer Smith, badge number two two two. Actually, my name's Agent Jones. Badge Agent Jones. One forty eight. Great. That's great. Okay. So the big concern Agent Jones, is you need to learn the police, law of your state. There's a lot of police cars in here. And it's just kind of suspicious when you're filming inside police cars because there's restricted information in these cars. It just kind of a normal, reasonable person would not do that. Is it fair to say that? Would it, it be I reasonable mean, why would you leave your Why would you leave a computer on in your car? In, in, in the, I didn't in, say a computer. Where did you see a computer? On? What What sensitive information could I get from looking inside of a police car that I that my tax dollars help fund? I'm checking out the police.